Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Fallout 76. My name is Camel and today I'm going to show you where to find the pastor's vestments. Jesus Christ be praised. Now there may be other locations in which we can find this item, but at the moment this is the only place where I know where to find it. And if you are into this kind of stuff, links to my other Fallout 76 videos can be found down in the description along with my social media links. Be sure to check all of that out after this video. It's what the Lord wants. Now getting our hands and spirits on these holy wraps is quite simple. All we need to do is ask our savior for guidance. He'll direct us to the sleepy town of Helvetia, founded by Swiss and German settlers. On the map, it can be found right here where my character is currently standing, and it lies to the southeast of Vault 76. Now this town will likely be swarming with the unholy and sinful scorched, so come prepared for that. Once here, we'll want to look for the church. It is at the western side of the town and is probably the easiest building to distinguish in the whole village. Once in here, walk inside and pass the false idol, the Mothman. Head to the back and up the stairs. Then on a table, in the left hand back corner of the room, we'll find the pastor's vestments, Jesus Christ be praised. So in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Grab that boy. Phew, uh, starting to sound Catholic. So now that we have our holy garb, let us inspect it through pure, untarnished eyes. Definitely not mine. Strangely, this pastor's vestments, Jesus Christ be praised, looks incredibly post-apocalyptic, which I would not expect as Fallout 76 is set only 20 years after the bombs dropped. Yet, a pastor has had the time to make a custom outfit that looks like a costume piece from Mad Max, with no reason to do so. This pastor's vestment, Jesus Christ be praised, is actually a reused asset from Fallout 4, which I'm totally down with, but it looks a little too a post-apocalyptic to be found in a church just 20 years after the bombs dropped. But with that obscurity aside, aesthetically, it consists of a long black shirt with roughly sewn on sleeves, there is a white stripe on either side running vertically down the body. The shoulders have been reinforced with leather epaulets and leather straps with buckles. For the pants, we have some rough green-brown patchwork trousers with some almost military-grade looking brown boots. Interestingly, and very post-apocalyptically, for a belt, we have a rope which has been wrapped around the waist three times. At the back, there are two leather pouches, and tucked away, of course, we have the holy book itself, the Wasteland Survival Guide. And of course, up at the top, with all the buttons done up, we have the clerical collar, which is really the only part of this outfit that lets us know that this is a pastor's vestments. Jesus Christ be praised. Now, all in all, it's a pretty cool look. If you plan on playing some kind of religious executioner of the filthy, nuclear-infested, unholy abominations that now roam the lands, then this is probably the outfit that you'll want. And I know that there have been more than a few post-apocalyptic movies with priest-like characters, so the character building is definitely there. But overall, it's a pretty cool outfit and a unique one that we can find for ourselves. And despite not being a religious man, I might just save this for later, because I sure do love some red wine and pasta. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I've been Camel, and this has been my guide for the pastor's vestments. Jesus Christ be praised. I do hope this video helped you out, and if it did, you'll be very interested in checking out my other Fallout 76 videos that I have already done. Links to them can be found down in the description. Now, down there in the old description, you can also find links to my social media. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And if you would like to support the channel, be sure to subscribe, or if you want to do it in a more personal way, you can, of course, become a Patreon on Patreon or a sponsor of the channel right here on YouTube. As I'm sure you know, all of my time and energy goes into making these videos that I create for you to enjoy, so your support is most genuinely appreciated and welcomed in any and all forms. So thank you very much for watching, thank you for supporting the channel, and I'll see you very shortly in the next video. I'll see you there soon. Jesus Christ be praised.